This is one of many different Arduino microcontrollers. The Arduino was created by Massimo Banzi, an Italian, and he collaborated with other people, some of the people in the U.S. and a guy in Spain. Um, but his goal was to be able to teach students electronics, and he created this, and there's many different ones. This is the Arduino Mega, but there's also uh, many different types. Um, that you can buy and they're all between like 30 and 70 bucks in that range um, So basically It's a microcontroller and you can connect it to your computer via USB cord uh, Your program you program for the Arduino using the Arduino software The software is written in Java and based on the processing um, software which was created by MIT once done coding, you plug, um, you upload your code to the Arduino by clicking on the little upload button in the software. The Arduino then runs this program in a continuous loop. And anytime you give the Arduino power, it will run this program until you load a different one. Um, as you can see, the, uh, the Arduino board has numerous digital inputs and outputs, which, which really make the board useful because you can connect um, jumper wires to these and um, different you know, things like LEDs and buttons, which we will do in further projects. And you can make some pretty cool stuff. Um, so just a, a couple of the terms though, you have these are jumper wires, which you can get at Radio Shack or um, any other place that sells electronic equipment. Um, these are LEDs, we're gonna be using these in the next project. They're just uh, light emitting diodes. It has a you know positive and a negative side. The positive side is a little bit longer than the negative, so that's how you can tell um, what is what. Uh, just to kind of show you one up close. There's one here, and then you see that the positive side is a little longer than the negative, right? Um, this is a breadboard. This allows you to create circuits without soldering things together you just connect your jumper wires into here and you have this uh, the blue column the uh, column here is negative the red is positive and these all connect together so if you connect something in here you can connect something further down here and it will be part of the same circuit and then you have these rows in between here of five on either side and these five rows connect but they don't go across this divide then these five rows also connect and then you have the same type of columns here. Uh, so that's how the breadboard works. Very, very useful. Um, we're going to make a simple circuit using one of these in the next project. Um, so go ahead and hit click on the blink project to start that project.